Hey, what's up? My name's Lofi, and let's shoot a fake commercial. Wow, oh my gosh, there's my living room. Introducing Sam. How's it going, Sam? Good, great. Sam is our buddy today. She's helping us out with uh, the, the film set. Which we're recording um, in my living room. We rearranged the living room quite a bit, uh, placed uh, black up on, near the windows, so it's just blocking off all the light outside down here. But I don't think that'll affect too much. The camera that we're using today is the A7S Mark III with the Sigma lens. The shoot for today is for the Amaran COB60. Uh, X? Yeah, it's the X. Uh, the white edition, because I thought it'd be kind of fun. It's kind of, it's kind of like uh, the white that's on me, so that one's kind of neat. And plus, you don't really see a lot of, uh, film lights with, uh, this cool, like, aesthetic, so I thought it'd be kind of neat. Plus, it's a nifty opportunity to practice some commercial videography. Now, we have our projector up here. I've already collected a ton of unique and different backdrops that we'll be playing. It's not as tall as I was uh, hoping for, but that's okay. We will make it work. The projector we're using is a pretty, pretty affordable one. I can't pronounce that. First position is going to be the projector here with the camera right above it, and then we'll move both the position and the camera work a little bit. And we're just playing this right off of my laptop where all of the uh, backdrops reside. Got a couple of nifty shots uh, here with this backdrop. We also changed it up quite a bit. You can see my shadow, hello. And uh, yeah, we have just the camera placed next to Sam over here and the projector. They're a pretty nifty way of just casting cool visual interest. We experimented with a lot of them. Yeah, it's really fun. Yeah. So on to now using actual lights. Brand new setup. We have our concrete backdrop to create a cool, nifty look. We also have the Amaran 100D lighting this backdrop. We have it set down here, so it would create a cool, nifty gradient of light from the bottom towards the top. Contrasting the light, which starts bright and then progressively gets darker the further down you go. We have this light being lit by the Aperture uh, MT Pro and another Aperture MT Pro over here. And then we have one tiny light, the Amaran MC, which is set to like a super low percentage. That way when the light actually comes around, we can see all of the reflective gloriousness. It's super light out and I wanna kill myself, let's go. This whole setup is inspired by Caleb's video, link over here. It's really freaking spiffy. Essentially, I'm just using a TV as this backdrop. It's, th 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 that's it. And then I have over there on my laptop, I have a looping video. This is just a viewfinder, kind of like a sci-fi viewfinder that I bought from Ezra. And then I'm using the Amaran 60X as the prop, and I have it placed right here. I'm technically shooting a lot wider than I should be, but I'll be cropping in quite a bit. So in terms of lighting this, uh, I first tried the Amaran 100D, but it was a bit too bright, even at one, one percent. So I tried rotating this away <laughs> and it, it was still too bright. So I'm using the Aperture MT Pro and I'm just Hollywooding it. Whee! There we go. And so it's super dim without any light. It still looks pretty cool. And then I'm just kind of casting some light back and forth around in different ways. Wow, that looks really cool. One more tip, my wall is white. Bright, reflective, white. So, I have a uh, moving blanket here. I just have it thumbtacked to the wall, and that's lessening the reflection of the TV. Now the TV is uh, right side up. We got the light in front of it. We got the laptop behind it displaying the video. Oh my gosh. Skipping. Uh, we have the Aperture MT Pro over there. Oh my gosh, wow, we have another MT Pro right here. Oh my gosh, I'm swinging around like a lightsaber. Camera's right here, A7S with a Sigma. Oh my Oh, whoopsies. And the last setup of this fake commercial. I am putting so much energy into something that is just for free, but it's good practice. Rocking the A7S Mark III with the Sigma without any filters on it, just to keep 
the image sharp. I also have this zoomed in a bit to compress the space of this light and the backdrop. There's a solid yard, maybe yard and a half between the light and the backdrop because I don't want a lot of, essentially what you see here, a lot of like shadows casting onto the green screen. I'm also using the Elgato green screen, which I bought this because it's a lot smoother than let's say other fabrics and it's easy to collapse into itself for storage purposes. Now to light this, we have the Amarin 100D and the light dome mini because the uh, regular one's ginormous. But this is casting soft light onto the backdrop. It's not exactly even, ideally this would be completely even, but this will work because it's still a fairly smooth gradient of green. And there is no green hitting this guy, except for the back, but you can't see the back. Who cares about that? Now for our key light, and what's also kind of lighting up this whole space, he is none other than the Aperture 300D Mark II without any modifier except for this giant layer of diffusion, which is just a shower curtain. I wanted the light to spread as much as I could, and <laughs> given the space that I have, there's not a lot left, so I think this will work pretty darn good. And now to pick the right color, clearly not picking this guy because he is green. White might work. That'll be good. That'll be nice. Hi, handsome. And hello, pretty. So I've decided I need a few pickups for the fake commercial. So what I need is a black background and it is bright, sunny outside. I could be outdoors, but I am a gay vampire robot. So we're gonna create a black backdrop. I actually already have a black backdrop. Good to go. So scene transition in three, two, one. And here we go, we have our black backdrop. So to block the window light, I'm honestly just using these moving blankets. I have them pinned to the wall. I have the black seamless attached via two different C-stands. Easy as that. All right, check it out. We got the projector again. How's it going? Ooh, that's pretty cool. So check it out. This is what the shot looks like now. A7S right here. I have the COB right here, and I have back again with the projector. It wasn't high enough, so I just used the box, and then a little table stand. And I have this positioned pretty much directly right behind, or aligned with the COB, which is aligned with my camera over there. All that's projecting is a looping animation that I found on Envato Elements. <gasps> oh, and then what really sells this is this can right here. I don't have a fog machine. I actually got rid of mine because it was broken. I'm using atmosphere aerosol, or really you can just use a fog machine or a hazer. Hazers are the ones that work best, but this thing's really darn cool because you can straight up just... Yeah, you can really see it there. Isn't that so cool? <gasps> oh, when I bring back the daylight, oh, this is gonna look so red. Okay, time to clean up and uh, get back to work. I definitely have a lot of thoughts on this spec commercial. I've been a PA for other commercial productions, but I've never directed something like this before. So this was a pretty fun experiment. Something I wanted to know, I shot all this footage in 60 frames per second. That way I could slow it down in post and that helps smoothen some of the motion around. Though in certain instances, I actually had to speed up the footage. So what can you do? Okay, so looking back, I'm not the biggest fan of some of the virtual production shots that I captured. There's definitely a lot that I learned. I definitely need to make my room a lot darker and maybe find another TV or another shot to put on the TV screen. But it was really fun to practice and I'd like to do it again soon. The music that you're listening to was created by my friend Bunny. We actually collaborated on this song in particular. I wanted to have this song that felt energetic, nostalgic, but it had like a darker undertone to it. It was inspired by a couple of songs like Freaking Out the Neighborhood by Mac DeMarco and Downtown by Cosmic Cycler. It was also inspired by this TikTok. So hey, thanks for the inspirations. And thank you, Bunny, for making this song because it is pretty freaking rad. To listen to the full track, check out the link below. Also, thank you, Sam, for joining on this wild adventure. You definitely helped out a lot and it was really cool to work with you, so I appreciate you. So now that my edit is done, what do I think? Um, <laughs> it's definitely a weird mosh of just 
just different styles of commercial cinematography. I definitely should have picked one lane to stick with that, like maybe, I don't know, high-end fancy shots and virtual productions, or maybe make the whole thing super retro. But really, I was just having too much fun experimenting with different styles, and I definitely learned a thing or two about each particular genre of commercial cinematography. Thank you guys for watching. You can check out the full commercial somewhere on screen here. You can also check out Bunny's full song in the description below. Go over there, send him some love from me and from you guys, and until next time, stay artsy! <gasps> Mother...